All right, we're back, and we are uh, about to fight the Scorpion, I believe. It's been a little while. Uh, I am all scatterbrained on where I am in terms of this game, just because I've been so busy uh, working on the reviews and just planning stuff out that I am all flabbergasted on progression. But, but, but... Here we are. <laughs> um, not sure what suit to use. I think I'm just gonna go Iron Spider. You okay? I'm fine. Well, it didn't fit anymore. To be honest, I I this is random, but am uh, a little. Uh, what's the word? I'm forgetting what suits I've used in the past. So, uh, yeah. By repeat suits. I've been trying to go through as many as I possibly can. Uh, for the sake of just keeping, a, you know, a healthy variety. Suits that I like and, you know, things, other things. Can I do this combat base? Can I do this combat base? Uh, what's the thing here? Five stealth takedowns. Down. Literally didn't see that coming. Yeah, I need to be uh, careful here, because these guys can decide that they want to just engage. All right, there we go. Now I'm not afraid. Going crazy, because the rest of this is easy. I figured I might as well, you know, spruce some things up a little bit. Uh, I have been just kind of going through the story stuff and just ignore stuff, so it's kind of good that I... What? <laughs> Go ahead, knock him out. Okay. Are you just not... Thank you. Wow, I, I didn't even have time to react to that. I'm just gonna knock you out. Time to farm. That's all of them. Let's find out what they were up to. Yuri, I've engaged a sable base. Looks like they've got prisoners. But I don't know what they're charged with, and I don't want to let dangerous people back on the streets. The real criminals they turn over to Table, us. how dare you? The people they hold on site haven't done anything they can make a Do you know this is illegal? I can think of at least two amendments that violates. See? Okay. See what I mean? Like I'm staging a jailbreak. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a jacket, it's because my room right now is really, really cold. It's like... <laughs> it's 69 degrees. Nice. That's what I get for not paying attention. Get hit with a... Good old bolo trap. Uh, so yeah, it's a little chilly. It's not exactly, it's not like a terribly warm day. It was like mid-70s today, so... So yeah, I'm a little chilly, making sure that I'm, you know... One more time, and we can just go crazy. Aw. Um. Love it. Oop. Attack. Oh, 
Don't want to get hit today. Thought I was a pocket. Got. Oh, damn it! He hit me. I got really excited for a second. So, uh, you know, on my spare time lately, if I'm not working on reviews, I decided I wanted to put some time into Ghost of Tsushima because I have the game. I've had it since it came out, essentially. And I've put no time into it just because, uh, you guys want to watch reviews and stuff. Uh, this Let's Play. And so I just, you know, to get content out, I, you know, I said I was going to do a month of videos, and so far I've kept to my word. I only have one video left, and so, so far, you know, keeping true. Hey, you do this for money, right? Well, how much to lay off? I'm kind of happy about it because uh, it's hard. It's hard in the YouTube. God, that rocket just appeared. It's hard in the YouTube space to stay consistent and stay motivated. A lot more harder than people believe. Um, because... You know, a lot of the time people want a certain level of success. And, you know, in the case of... Like, just speaking for myself, like not putting words in anybody else's mouth, but... I've been at this YouTube thing a long time. A very long I missed him. Um, so, it can be a little discouraging when you do the things that you do, and, you know, yeah, the content is the content that I want to do, and I've always done content that I've wanted to do. Like, I've never done content for the sake of just like, oh, you know, my... I'll gain, I'll gain more viewers for doing X, Y, and Z. It's why you see games that I've reviewed, like, for instance, um, Toy Story 2. I love that game. That game is pretty fun. That's not a game that I don't think anybody really cared to watch a review for, because the numbers uh, pretty much show that. Last guy, huh? That took longer than it should have. Uh, and it's hard when you're doing stuff like I do, where it just takes a lot of time, and there's research that has to go into it, and then on top of that, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm also trying to, uh, you know, recover from surgery. <laughs> uh, so there, there's more stuff to it than just like, hey, play a video game, record a video game, write about the video game, and upload a video, edit a video. It's more than that. A lot more involved in that because there's the external factors of everything that I do that also go alongside with it. But when you view the numbers and you, you know, it's like a passion project for you, and the numbers are just kind of like never, and you can tell that your community doesn't really care about it, it's a big kick in the gut to stay motivated to keep creating things because then you feel like you have to create the things that people do only care to watch and like i know people really are here for like a lot of the spider-man stuff which is fine like damn it what did he inject um it's fine like you know that that's what this channel's bread and butter has always kind of been um but it's a little discouraging because it's like i don't want to just be pigeonholed into being the spider-man guy Yes, I love Spider-Man. I love the character. I love playing the video games. I, pretty much all the reviews on this channel are Spider-Man related in some way, shape, or form. And it's only been recently where I've been branching out into other games. Come on. Why don't you swing? Okay. Should be safe for a minute. Need to analyze the neurotoxin so I can create an antidote. Uh, skippity skip 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 <laughs> Scorpions made some but yeah it can be a little disheartening uh and it, it's it's tough like i said when you're doing what i do and and you, you hunker down and you put a lot of time into it and it, it just feels like there is no no benefits no rewards for the amount of labor that you put into something and 
it's it's rough when it's like a passion project you know but i i go on i trudge on i try you know i always try to put it in perspective that like people at least appreciate my opinion whether or not they watch all my stuff or not they at least care enough to come around and appreciate my opinion and i at least have something of a voice so like there it is that's cool it's all about perspective. It can be both. Duck? I think once I finally got into that mindset of like, you know, fuck the numbers, essentially, right? Once I finally got into that mindset, I think I became a lot more happier with the content. And it's also like, um, I don't need to go as crazy as I did in my earlier re reviews. Like, in my earlier stuff, I would explain the most minute details. Stuff that I really didn't need. And, uh... Yeah, it, it really wasn't necessary, and it just added a lot more time than it did. Why did I go that way? I will say that this suit looks a lot better in this version of the game than it did in PS4. Like, in PS4, the colors were, like, very muted. In this game, like, in this the remaster, it, it, red pops out a lot more. And maybe it might be my monitor's like color grading settings, but uh, don't strike me, not nicey. Uh, but it, it it definitely looks a lot better. Like I, I like it a lot more than I originally did. It still is a ripoff Spider Phoenix costume, but you know, hey, what are you gonna do about it? If I seem a little tired, by the way, it's because I am. <laughs> I've had a very, very long day. So today I had a doctor's appointment. Uh, right after that, uh, I got stuck with niece duty. And by getting stuck with niece duty, I mean like I actually I actively put myself in niece duty because I wanted to spend time with them. And uh, you know it's Friday. At the time of this recording, it's Friday. And um, you know they they. Have both gone through, I think, their second week of school, and they're just kind of getting into the swing of things, and they're getting acclimated to the fact that summer is you're officially over, and we're entering just fall. And uh, you know, it's been a kind of rough couple of years for for the family, really. Just uh, you know, with the virus and all that stuff, and not being able to really enjoy summers, and not being able to really do much. Um, Dude, what? I swear it. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. You are the So, uh, you know, I've been kind of making it a goal of mine to give them something at least to smile about. Uh, I very much have embraced this philosophy of giving people their flowers while they're alive, right? Like paying people the compliments that you would have never said it unless they were dead or like you know trying to actively make a difference in someone's life and, and those poor girls like i love them to death they're they're great even though they can annoy me they're great but uh you know it's hard for them given the circumstances of how their life is and stuff like that and i just i just want to be a good a good uncle and uh I hope they know that I care about them a lot. So I spent a lot of time with them. I, I brought up my old rock band stuff. I played rock band with them. Uh, then I remember that I had just dance on my on my old PS4, so I re-downloaded that so they can dance because my youngest niece loves to dance. She's like a TikToker. So uh, yeah, that was nice. It was, it was a, a real nice day, and they had a lot of fun. So, I'm happy that they're happy. That's all that really matters to me. Lord, I forgot about you. Scorpion, are you 
you even real? Hold still. I see still. an opening. Another hallucination. Really like that kick. That, this is like the only time in this entire game that Spider-Man has like unique attack animations. The rest of the attack animations in this game are really like they're they're very minor in comparison to like Miles, for example, where Miles has like a bunch of like you know alternate combo routes. Not Spider-Man in this game. He has like the same two kick combos. Really annoying. Or if like you're in tight spaces, he'll occasionally throw like a right cross. It's very strange. I kind of wish he would do more of the combos he's doing now, but it's reserved to Scorpion. <laughs> nice bounce. I've never seen that happen. Nice. Just a few more left. I'm gonna do a takedown on you. I love that animation. That's so good. Where are you? There you are. One more. Come on and slam. Welcome to the jam. Some hero. Everyone you ever met suffers. Yeah, one more time. I can barely stand up. Sweet. There's the centrifuge I need. So yeah, that's been uh, that's been what's going on with me. I've just been a busy body. Uh, like what three reviews in a month and like Where'd my suit go? consistent upload schedule for the let's plays and has not been easy. And on top of that, recovery and the other stuff that IRL brings. Look at this office. of working here. See this? This to me, this tilts me. This man was not paying Peter at all, yet he had all this equipment that if he wanted to be like a decent human being, probably could have pawned off at a pawn shop and like paid Peter. Good old Pretoria Parker here. Wow, this looks incredibly strong. I'm like, I don't know why I'm like trying to test the arms of the right stick too. Pretoria even a real word? Just make that up. <laughs> God, what's wrong with me? You're getting, you're getting a good episode today because I'm just tired and I'm talking about nonsense and life and YouTube stuff and and nieces and you're probably all just like, what's wrong with this kid? Why isn't he talking about the game? Well, I kind of am. All right, so what's next? Look, I'm busy, but I'm never too busy to lay the smack down on art and criminals. Just to make sure. They try to kill me, and then they look so surprised. Kind of looks like the rooftop that Miles uh, gets his thing in. Hey, look. Little thingy. Where's the. MJ, hey. You mind if I toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you? When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable, though. Jeez. Oh, my God. All right, crossfire. Really? Yeah, I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Got him. You? Oh, come on. That would have been great if he actually, like, went through him. Okay. And I get shot through the freaking eye. Uh, man, like, 
This kind of stinks that we have to wait so long for the next story beat. I can't let those sable guards brutalize innocent people. Hey, you do know you're the bad guys here, right? If you guys are wondering how I'm able to stay in the air for so long, it's, uh, it's a little technique I kind of mastered a long time ago, but it's just, it's, uh, as you can see, it's very simple. It's, just, it's uh, air, it's, uh, how do I, zip, dodge, cancel, that's what it is. So you, you, um, essentially just go like that. And you can just do that a pretty decent amount of times and stay in the air for a while. I think it resets if you do another action. So, say you go, like, punch in the air, right? I, I can't do it because I have my uh, trick button set to square, so. But yeah, you do that and, and it automatically, like, kind of resets for whatever reason. It's very strange, so you can just stay in the air for a now I gotta do this crime. I'm trying to do these missions. But I gotta do this. Okay. Shoot me. You guys drunk? We're just stupid. Dumb head scans. Oh, hello. Now you gotta fight. Like this is hard. Get the old at the car. You deserve to get kicked in the face. That was like some dystopian sci-fi movie. Of course, the city's not that. Everywhere I go. Eventually, they'll stop tracking me. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. Onwards to the next part of this mission. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh, oh, Aunt May. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Feel that. Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? All right, 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 right. Chase of Good Goose. Time. We're in the Chase of Goose part. Parker Pride. I think this is actually the first time we're seeing the new Peter model in this entire uh, Let's Play. And, um... Uh, Did I just see, like, the old Spider-Man 2000, like, web cartridge logo on the bottom right of his phone screen? I gotta look that back when I'm in editing, but it definitely looked like it. Anyway, um... I lost track of my... Oh, uh, the new Peter model. Yeah, so this is the first time that we're seeing it, at least... This let's play, I believe. Um, 
no antibiotics. And it's fine. You know, like I, I like many people was like I wasn't thrilled with the choice for them to change it, but I didn't like crap on it like everybody else. I understood the technical reasonings behind uh, the reasoning for it. You know, like it's just a more supplies over there. It really is just a case of wow, I shouldn't have not I should have not gone away. Oh, God. I know. Another supply tent. A couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. Whoa! Oh, he somehow saw me. Wow, all right. He's facing the other way, but like, whatever. <laughs> Gotta avoid that sniper. But yeah, I think the biggest thing that bothers me about the new Peter model isn't even the face. It's the fact that the... The, the face is on... I th and this is just me speculating. I mean, I, I don't know for... For a fact, but it it looks like the face is on the old Peter model. Excuse me. <clears throat> it looks like the face is on the old Peter like body model. So it looks weird because it's it like if you just look at the character's neck, it, I don't know. It doesn't line up correctly versus the old model, which was clearly you know crafted for the old head. Um, so it's a little weird. It's, it, it, it's it's in the neck area. I can't pinpoint exactly what it is, but I've been able to kind of like narrow it down to where I can, f you know, figure out where it looks weird and why there's like a disconnect and it's like that uncanny valley. It's the neck, the neck and the hair, really. Metal Gear Miles. I'm sorry. <laughs> I usually don't fail this much. Uh, Time to get out of here. So you can tell I'm like tired. I, I cannot concentrate. <clears throat> that and my voice is going too, which uh, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my voice. <laughs> that that one is an issue I haven't been able to find out, and it's very frustrating. I was kind of okay with my voice before, and lately I just hate the way that I sound. To the point where I, I I despise editing my own videos a lot of the time. But I have to do it because, like, who else is really going to do it? I can't afford to keep paying editors to work on my video, unfortunately. I could, I totally would. Okay. Moving, we moving, we moving. Sweet. I wonder how he's not able to see me. I gotta get out of here. That's always perplexed me. No no. Can't be if I get up there, I'll be safe. I can find you. I can crush you. I can 
container. Yeah! That's my exit. You cannot hide. You better not see me. You're in full friggin' sprint. We need to get him to clear the opening. All right, we made it. It is Chase of Goose. I hate Chase of Goose. Pidgeotto? Give us the wall! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? <laughs> Kids got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? He's not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Hey yo. Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. I hate to be critical, but this scene has always bothered me because of the, the one guy who just bails. His, like, buddy gets knocked down and he's like, eh, I'm good. It's like, bro, <laughs> it's a kid. Don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. I don't know, it just, it strikes me as weird, especially because they're convicts. Like, maybe if they were, like, other kids, that would work. Incredible work but they're supposed to be, like, these hardened convicts, and it's, I don't desperate. know, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for me, brother. I've always thought it was a weird scene. I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri. All right, time to go fight. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Big old Russian. hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. All units. Unknown assailants are firing on police from elevated positions. Reported location is Murray Hill. There are a lot of things like that in this game that just kind of feel like, um, you know, looking back at it, obviously, we're a lot more critical a couple years later when we've had, you know, another Spider-Man game and another one on its way. Um, but even back then, I think there were, I, I remember that just being one of the most striking things that was just, like, really weird to me. I know why they did it, because they wanted to show that Miles is, like, a courageous character. He stands up, you know, he has the heroic qualities. They're showing off Miles' heroic qualities. But I think in the scene, the, the context of the scene just doesn't... Uh, I think the logic is what bothers me. So I, anytime I think about a scene, right, I think about it from a logical point of view. How will, the, how will these characters uh, react in this situation? What is the most logical thing for these characters to do? If you have two convicts... With a little, you know, 15, 16 year old kid. And your buddy gets knocked out. The convict is gonna jump right on that kid and just like, you know, try and kick his ass. It's not gonna be a situation of like, I'm out of here. Like, yeah, you're good. You know, you're not gonna run away like a chicken shit. That just wouldn't happen. And that, that lapse, it, uh, That lapse in, in logic is what really bothers me more than anything.
Is that really all of them? I didn't even get one of them. Ugh. Okay. Have you considered that you're ready? Let me get out of here. Please stop fighting these guys. I'll be here all day if I choose to fight with every single person who's shooting a rocket or a sniper or a gun at me on the street. Let's fight the big boy. Pick on someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size. You're not a god. You were never even a man. Every time I see this rhino design, I just think of uh, Bale Flag. I mean, Bale Flag. Uh, <laughs> bad Flag. Sorry, too much, uh... Too much, uh, Batman Begins. Yes, that's a game I'm reviewing. It's happening. It's just a matter of time. Uh, you're, I'm gonna highlight something that I mentioned on Twitter the other day for those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, cheap plug. Uh, it's at P1SMX. So, let's do a takedown on the Rhino here. Look at his face. He gets hit in the face, but he has a static emotion shot. The only enemy in this game that I think makes an actual emotion when getting hit is a uh, Kingpin at the very beginning of the game. And it's something that has bothered me since the launch of this game. Let's wrap this up. It's the fact that when you hit enemies, they don't have any reactions to it. And I can't tell you how many times in a photo mode shot, I avoid any action shots where the, the enemy's face is uh, visible. Because it's just not ideal. Oh, I got him. Got him. Oh, come on. You guys in Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? That to like get him, you idiot. Get him. Come down and help, Rock. Guys, please. There's plenty of me to go around. Oh, wow. I dodged that. Got me stuck in the animation. The barrel. <laughs> do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! <laughs> A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, nice. Okay. Jerry, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. 
I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leap Devil's breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of sable I'm shooting at me. The other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in. Yeah, it's like, oh, God. It's like a, an old WWF show in, like, the 90s when they just kept fucking pointing the goddamn lasers in the wrestler's face. Like, that would annoy me to no end. Like, they were trying to blind them, essentially. Asshole fans. That's your obscure wrestling reference for the day. If you know, you know. Uh, let me... I keep doing that by accident. Sorry. The swap suits. Just because this next part is an MJ part. Now reports are coming in that Mark. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. I know I've used the web suit already, the Raimi suit, but it's. The is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lock. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, You'll temporarily see. vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire. It's because yeah, that elevator gets. There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Rioter. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, look, this guy has a... Uh, he has a uh, Clint Barton's hairstyle from, from Endgame. How is it this game can add this hairstyle in, but Avengers can't? Oh, my God. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. I love how MJ's entire shtick is just like, let's go talk shit. Stir up a goddamn riot. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Jerry, Jerry. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. Hello. This is like one of the few exceptions to the MJ stealth sections that I actually like in this game because it serves a purpose in this story. And it's not just a an inconvenience, right? It's not a pace breaker in the sense of like, hey, we're going to take you to a point in time bah, before the events of what's currently happening so we can give you just an exposition piece and what I feels like, like a quota thing. of like uh gotta turn him around you get to play as this character for x amount of times for the marvel mandate right elevator controls in the security room Mary like Jane this was... makes sense because it's currently ongoing that elevator. and it doesn't take away from the story it doesn't take away from the pacing it it, it works um only way to unlock the and again, this is something that, like, Here goes I'm, I'm blanking out. Forgot to hit the thing. This is something that works for MJ. This is something that Peter wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been able to do. So, uh, it's, in this sense, it's, like, perfect. The setup is perfect. The execution is perfect. Uh, and the way that it, you know, weaves into the story is, is also perfect. So this is, like, the one exception of the rule that I don't mind. Penthouse elevator. I love how security just never came back. <laughs> security just disappeared. Right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire. Hmm? Stupid. 
stupid, useless button. I find it funny how they the um, the elevator has like a fob panel on the, on the right. Uh, I've been in a hotel in, in in San Diego when I went to TwitchCon a few years ago, and uh, they had one of those things as well. It perplexes me as to how she's able to get upstairs <laughs> without having a fob to scan the thing to be able to let her. What is this thing? Oh, look at this thing here. Look at that thing on the top left. Look at that glider design. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Schematic for the prototype. Nice little mask. reference there, ASM 14. To pushing Oscorp towards defense work. All right. Uh... Norman bids him a fabulous Osborne boys. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Nor need to find the code for that keypad. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with the family portrait. Who leaves space? MJ, Sable presence downstairs. <laughs> Interrupt her. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. Oh my god. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Sorry. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? That's what we're going to find out. This is an, it's insane for a New York loft, penthouse, whatever. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. The photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Like, I wish I could afford this in my lifetime, but I don't think I would ever make enough money in my lifetime to afford a New York loft like this. This would be great. Because then I'd be in New York, number one. I miss New York every day. Every fiber of my being. And, uh, I'd have a nice house to not invite, invite any guests over because I'm a lonely fuck with no friends. <laughs> Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. It is, yes, it's Harry genetic. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship? Tavius had hair. He was younger. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the score. This must be the key for Harry's. Getting mom. old sucks, man. Your hair starts thinning out. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my Ooh, entire reflections. apartment. Look at that. I feel sad. Cool. How are the PS5? Oh, right. No, scan. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? God, imagine. Imagine he gets all full Lex Luthor-like and just becomes president. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. All right, fun time is over. We got a stealth, stealth, stealth. We should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable. Right? Uh, Norman's like I seem to be actor. Completely vulnerable with you. His facial. Going alone. Um, End of discussion. Like his facial makeup. 
keep team two on reminds me so much of James Can, and that's all I can think about whenever I see him. It it just looks like James Can, and I think of him all the time. He's headed to the whenever I see Norman in this. Can you follow? It's very weird. Uh, so maybe now, for those of you who watch, will think the same thing. Norman Osborne in this game is secretly James Can. Just to make sure, you know, there's a guy who comes out of this room. Found. Zippity zap. Don't come back. This guy should be facing yep, that way, and he can get the zappers. And surely this guy. I'll move. Here, hold this. Oh god, don't get caught. Okay, we're good. Quack. Alright. Nope. We're in. Okay. July 18. Bingo. I didn't mean to do that, sorry. That's uh, too much Ghost of Tsushima Super right there. Creep. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room. Pressing R3 to get out of uh <laughs> crouching. Prototype hand grenades. Gonna be painted orange sometime soon. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Alright, let's get on with it. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Huh. Michael's, uh, I think it's so records. records I, Sable, I bet Bravo. I can find the Devil's Breath lab. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. I don't know how I remember that. <laughs> I don't know how I remember that. Anthem Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> Started all of this, they created Lee. Yep. I, I have to get this. No. Who's there? Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have a breach. High alert. You know, for a trained mercenary, she is terrible at checking her corners. <laughs> I know, I know. Plot armor, yeah. But, uh... Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Continuing sweep. Crap. I thought he was gonna... Nothing. Sector's clear. 
It's got to turn. But I think you lost this. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see this guy. Zap. Gunshot. <laughs> and here come the stormtroopers. Like, actual stormtroopers. Like, look at them just being completely swindled by this, like, shelf. They can't apparently move out of the way, and she just blasts the fucking door. It's... It makes me laugh at how incompetent the Sable Guards are. And that's the reason I picked the web suit, because that is a great shot. Even though MJ's hair is not moving, but you know, hair physics are located. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick? Norman and Lee and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. Okay, well, that is that. Oh, uh, let's see if we, we got to any. get that anti serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo, convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world, they can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? God, I'm to use the arms. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. I forgot to use that an entire time. I'm so dumb. Ugh. All right, well, this is a good place to leave it off at. Uh, and, I mean, we're almost at the end of the game. We're not terribly far off. The next episode should be the last one, all things considered. Um, but, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one, and thank you guys for tuning in. JJ, please, no. Don't. Uh, no, I gotta. No, I gotta wait. No, I gotta wait. This happens every time I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna leave now. Somebody just starts crawling. There's a podcast. Spider-Man has literally brought a plague down upon us. Why do I blame him and not Martin Lee? I do blame Martin Lee. He deserves swift justice, but he's a lunatic terrorist. This is what they do. Whereas Spider-Man claims to be a hero. Yet he obviously knew about the threat and didn't warn us. He either thought he'd handled it, which makes him criminally negligent, or he was in on it, which makes him a terrorist too. Wow, all right, okay. Thank you, Jonah, for that. You just suck. <laughs> all right, I'll catch you guys on the next one next week. See ya.